In your Wednesday morning school watch, an ECU research group is heading to the South Pacific to study a sunken World War II aircraft. WNCT's Kara Gann explains how they hope their efforts will preserve a piece of history. Kara. Maria, students and staff at the university are gearing up to head out to a crash site where this World War II aircraft sunk in the Battle of Saipan 75 years ago. They're able to do this through a $29,000 research grant from the National Park Service. The group plans to revisit two deep sea sites in the South Pacific to study corrosion threats and the decaying process. They're hoping the research will help them better predict how long these sites will be around. I spoke to ECU Associate Professor and archaeologist Jennifer McKinnon. McKinnon has been working on these sites for a decade. She says not only can natural disasters like tsunamis and hurricanes impact the preservation of these sites, but also we can as humans. That's some of the questions that we want to ask is, is how long are these sites going to be here? Um, and then also how we might adjust the way that we visit the sites or use the sites for, you know, heritage trails and tourism so that they will last into the future. Specifically, the team is interested in studying the microorganisms that grow on the surface of the wreckage. They plan to collect samples and bring them back to ECU labs. The research trip is scheduled for March of 2020. Carrigan, 9 on your side.